Number 50, we want to find the area um, of the region bounded by the parabola x squared, the tangent line to it at 1, 1, and the x-axis. So, let's draw this in. We have our parabola that goes something like this. And this is the curve y is equal to x squared. Um, and let's call this the point. Let's call this the point 1, 1. So let's draw a line tangent to it. This is the tangent line to the point 1, 1. Um, and maybe I'll make it super clear that this is the point here, 1, 1. And then we have the x-axis, right? So the area um, in this region is, let's shade it in. Um, it is, let's see. It is this area right here. And we know that it goes from the point 0 to um to the point to the point one because the parabola touches a point zero zero uh so all that's missing for us is to find the um the equation of the tangent line and then decide how we're going to integrate it so for the tangent line um we do have to find the slope right so the slope is we're going to take the derivative, so y prime is equal to 2x, and evaluate it at the point 1. Um, the slope at the point 1 is m is equal to 2 times 1. So this uh, tangent line is of the equation y is equal to 2x plus b. And now let's plug in the point um, 1 1 so that we can find what b is so we have that uh, 1 is equal to 2 times 1 plus b and from here we can see that b is equal to negative 1 so our tangent line um, the screen line is has the equation let's see 2x which is the slope minus 1 so the green one is y is equal to 2x minus 1 um, so all we did was we, because we know that it's the tangent line at that point, we took the derivative of the parabola, um, evaluated it at x equals to 1, and then we just found the linear equation that passes through it. Um, all right, now we have to decide how we're going to integrate this. Um, so if we were to integrate it with respect to x, we would have to draw our rectangles. Uh, oops. We would have to draw our rectangles like so, vertically. However, we can see that at some point, the um, x-axis will be the lower boundaries, the lower boundary, and at another point, say here, the green curve would be the lower boundary. So we would have to split our integral up into two parts so that we could have consistently, you know, this, the, the same lower boundary. So that is just a lot of work. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to integrate it horizontally so that the green curve is always the upper boundary and the blue curve is always the lower boundary. So to um, integrate it horizontally, we do have to integrate it with respect to y. Um, now we know that the boundaries still are from 0 to 1 because of where these points are, where, th where they intersect. So all we have to do is we have to um, express these functions in terms of, uh, as a function of y. So let's begin with the uh, blue curve. So we have y is equal to x squared. Therefore, x is equal to plus or minus square root of y. Now we're only going to consider the positive root because it is the upper part of this curve. Um, and for the green curve, we do have that, uh, let's see y is equal to 2x plus um, 2x minus 1. So y plus 1 
divided by 2 is equal to x. So now we can set up our integral. This is the integral from 0 to 1 of, what's the upper curve? It's the green one, right? Of y over 2 plus 1 over 2 minus the lower part of the curve, minus square root of, of y. So I'll just put it as minus y to the 1 half, and then all of this times dy. So, uh, so when we integrate this, we just have to take the reverse power rule, right? Um, so that is y squared over 4 plus y over 2 minus, this is y to the 3 halves times 2 thirds, and all of this evaluated from 0 to 1. So now that we have integrated it, all we have to do is just um, plug in our boundaries. So this is 1 quarter, we'll apply 1, we'll plug in 1, plus 1 half minus 2 thirds. And let's see, we don't really have to plug in the lower boundary because when we plug in the lower boundaries, all the terms are going to go to 0. So when we calculate this, we have that this is 0.25 plus 1 half minus 2 thirds. And this does give us, let's see, this should give us 1 twelfth. So that is the area um, between these curves. Now, all we did was we took the derivative of the blue curve, found using the derivative, we were able to find the slope. So we could get the equation of the tangent line to that point. And then we, we said, hey, it's going to be so much easier if we integrate it with respect to y, because we have the same upper boundary and the same lower boundary. So then we expressed these curves in terms of y and then integrated it.